Hi all, good morning. I'm on my way to Cyprus mountain and um, uh, from the city suddenly the mountains were completely covered by mist as you have seen the first uh, shot. Um, it is absolutely misty, beautiful to drive through. Oh, there is a bit of a sunlight over there. Wow. walking trail to U Lake. I'll put the name up here. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it right or not. This walking trail is not too far. It is roughly about two kilometers from the car park. Uh, that's a return trip. It's getting a bit cooler now. Um, but uh, while you walk, obviously your body gets uh, warmed up and uh, at the moment I'm feeling uh, completely all right. We are in autumn now. You can see the um, leaves are changing colors slowly, which is a beautiful uh, sight to watch. This area has been uh, uh, protected from uh, public entering. Probably uh, they are allowing for uh, regrowth here. I found a composition here um, which isolates uh, a tree with uh, changing autumn colors. It's still in, in, in most of most part is, is green and uh, there, there is one tree behind that green tree has changed colors into sort of a golden um, yellow which looks actually absolutely fine and I uh, have taken uh, two uh, images one is uh, portrait form and the other one in um, uh, landscape format when I finished taking the shot uh, then suddenly the Sun bursts through the clouds and uh, eliminating that tree which I have taken earlier so I just came back again to take another uh, uh, shot. The sun is playing hide and seek with the clouds. Oh, there's a small pond here. It is almost 11.30 in the morning and the mist which was here earlier is lifting off slowly. As you can see over there, it has just gone up to the uh, top of the mountains. It's a beautiful walk. The rock you see over there, it seems it's been moved by uh, the ice glaciers. So this large boulder uh, in this pond is a reminder of the glaciers that uh, once covered the top of the mountains here around um, this U Lake. So that was about 16,000 years ago. It's pretty amazing. of a breeze and uh, you can see the beautiful reflection. I can sit here all day even if I'm not taking a picture. The place is absolutely serene, so quiet except somewhere dog is barking. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I would absolutely enjoy. I'm having a fantastic time sitting here, just looking at these reflections and the mountain and the mist, which is slowly engulfing those trees, those pine trees. What a wonderful time it is. As you can see, I have set my camera up here uh, for a composition. My initial thought was just take one shot with the, all these reflections. But um, then I saw the opportunity of taking a beautiful panorama of the lake and the water reflection here. Um, that's what I'm going to do it now. Well, I was um, fiddling around with the settings. Um, suddenly I saw a beautiful uh, sun was casting light on all those trees over there and I couldn't resist. Uh, I just took uh, a quick um, panel of uh, three landscape shots and um, you will see that now. Now I have uh, set up my camera for a portrait orientation and I'm going to take some um, couple of shots to take, make a panorama. panorama. Recently purchased a uh, um, new carbon fiber uh, tripod, inorel and um, uh, ball head. It's absolutely wonderful for, uh, especially for making a panorama to level uh, the tripod. You don't have to worry too much about the legs, where the legs are spread. At the moment, the tripod legs are spread awkwardly, but uh, with the help of this uh, ball head, I'm able to keep the horizon straight and uh, take uh, multiple shots without uh, moving the tripod and um, take images which can be used to stitch it easily in the Photoshop or in the Lightroom. There is a slight um, a gap in the clouds up there. I'm hoping to get the sunlight onto these uh, trees again. Um, I've set up my camera, everything is ready and uh, I'll just go through the composition and uh, um, the settings quickly. Uh, once when the light comes in, I'm, go I'm going to take some shots. At the moment, I have uh, ISO 100, 40th of a second shutter speed and F11 in order to get the whole scene in sharp. And um, um, I'm going for the, obviously you can see, it's a port portrait orientation. Let's hope uh, the light comes soon. Um, I waited for uh, almost uh, 15 minutes now and um, I'm a bit disappointed that the sun is not going to hit the trees again like I had it uh, very quickly and briefly for a few seconds. Um, I'm happy with that uh, shot and uh, I'm just it's time for me to move on to the next location. Small small ponds um, dotted along the uh, pathway makes the trail absolutely enjoyable. I'm uh, pretty much at the end of the trail now. Um, going towards the car park. This is the end of uh, the video, I guess, and um, I hope actually you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like uh, the video, press the like button, and if you like to see more of uh, this type of a content, um, please subscribe and uh, also press the notification bell so you would know when I'm uh, uploading the next video. Thanks for watching, and um, I will see you next time. Bye, you take care. Swung it until they were strong. Traveled through night by the shine of a lantern, singing the same.